Hello everyone, I'm Rodrigo, I'm a Dash community developer, and today I'm gonna to teach you guys how to create a web app which uses a range slider and connect it to a graph, which is a histogram, okay? So let's go straight to the code and let me show you guys what we're gonna to learn today, okay? So here's what you're seeing on screen is the already done uh, web app. So here's what we are kind of aiming for, okay? so. Uh, when you move the range slider, when you move those those handles right here, it filters a data frame and connects with our graph, okay? The data set that we will be using is this one right here, which has the max, the mean, and the minimum temperature in Celsius from Seattle from 1948 to 2016. So it's a pretty big uh, data set to, to begin with, okay? So let's go to the code. Uh, I've already done some, some simple things right here for us. So from dash, I imported dash, input, output, dash core components, HTML, and callback. Uh, I also imported Plotly Express so we can make our graphs and imported pandas so we can manipulate our data frames, okay? So the first thing we read our CSV from this link right here, which is the same link as this one right here, which will be available for you guys in the description of this video, okay? So, and we also filtered uh, one specific row uh, because uh, it has an error in temperature because uh, to, to be fair, Seattle never really experienced uh, temperatures in, in 54 degrees, okay? So let's start calling, all right? The first thing we gotta do uh, when we're talking about app, uh, when we're talking about dash, we gotta instantiate our app. So app will be equals to dash underscore underscore name underscore underscore, okay? And here, down here, we gotta create our layout. We gotta wrap it up with a div or with a container. Here, I'm going to use a div, okay? Uh, the first thing we saw uh, earlier on the on the design part is that uh, the first thing we gotta, we gotta create is a title. So the title is the number of days within high temperature range. Here we're going to add some style to it. Okay, so the style we want is we want the text to be aligned in the center. All right. Uh, and here we already made to the kind of the most important part in this video. We gotta create and uh, create our range slider. All right. So the first argument is the ID. So is the argument that make possible for us to communicate. Uh, the component with a callback, okay? The second one will be the minimum value possible in that uh, in that range slider. So it would be the minimum value in the temperature column, in the minimum temperature column, okay? And the, the max value, which is the, the next argument right here, okay? It would be max equals to data frame, max temperature in C dot max, All right? It's pretty pretty reasonable. Uh, the next is the step. The step can kind of kind of speaks for itself. It's the step where you can where you can move those those handles uh, in the in the range slider. Uh, here uh, we gotta set the the default values uh, of our range slider, right? We gotta also change some of the layout of the tooltips. So what we want we want it to be uh, its placement to be in the bottom, all right? And we want it to be always visible. So we set always visible to true, all right? Uh, Here is maybe the, the, the most important part uh, in our program, which we, we set the marks. So the marks uh, is a dict where the keys represent the numerical values and the values represent their labels. Okay, so I'm gonna set that the marks are edict, as I said before. Uh, and those right here are the marks, minus 17, minus 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, and 39, okay? So the first value, minus 17, is the minimum uh, possible value in our data frame. And the last one is the maximum uh, possible value in our data frame, okay? So the, the, the middle ones are just arbitrary, so we just set them uh, kind of by hand, okay? So we just said that the first value is the df minimum temperature dot min. Okay, that's a value. And the label will be uh, some sort of dictionaries. Okay, so 
the label will be equal to shrink off the minimum temperature uh, as it is supposed to. Okay. And uh, we want to set some style for it. So the style will be another dictionary uh, where it contains a color, which will choose blue. So it looks in kind of a, a colder color. Okay, so just set it to blue. Right here, I'm going to just copy and paste. I hope, I hope you guys understand because uh, here are the arbitrary numbers. So I've got uh, minus 10 is a value, 0, 10, 20, and 30. So minus 10 is a value. The label is minus 10, minus 10 Celsius. 0 is the value. Uh, 0 Celsius is the label. And so on for 10, 20, and 30. Uh, and the last value, the last but not least, uh, is the max temperature. So it's kind of the same code that we've got right here. I'm just going to copy and paste. And we've, got ju we've just got to change those min to max, okay, so I'm just going to select the mean, all of the occurrences of mean right here, and change to x. So we've got max temperature, max function, max temperature, and max function. The only thing we've got to change right here is the color of our text, because we want it to be red to represent a warmer color, okay? So it will be FF0000, which uh, in hex code stands for the red color, all right? So continue our code. That's it for the range slider. No, it seems simpler than you thought it was. Uh, the next thing we gotta do, we gotta create our graph. So our graph in the first moment will be uh, empty. It will be an empty dict in the figure uh, argument, all right? And we gotta create an ID so we can communicate with the callback, okay? And that's it for the layout, all right? Here, uh, we just gotta, uh, we're just going to run uh, our server so we can see where we are heading towards. Okay, so if name equals main, we just gotta do a app run with the debug parameter as true so we can make some changes if needed. Okay, so let's go back. Here's our our server, our secondary server because we're we're using our main right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to to run the the file. So let's wait just a little bit to for the Python to, to load the file, okay? So our link has been generated, which is this one right here. Should be up and running as we wish, okay? So the range, li range slider is working as uh, we expected. We've got the minus 17 right here, the 39, and the arbitrary numbers in the middle, okay? Minus 10, 0, 10, 20, and 30. And our figure is empty because we didn't connect it uh, with a callback. Okay, so let's do it right now, all right? So here, now here we'll create an app callback. And the first thing we gotta, we gotta do, we, want, we have to think what we want to affect with this callback. So we want to affect from the my graph to figure, we want to update it. And what will trigger this callback? What will trigger this callback is the my slider, I don't know, it's the my range, I'm sorry. Oops. So my range, and we want to get it uh, to get from it the value, okay? So the value is the argument that will be passed into this function right here, which we call it uh, of the graph and we pass the value as the temperature list because the first element of the list, the first index, the zero index uh, will be the minimum value and the one index will be equals to the maximum value possible uh, in our range slider, okay? So we're going to create a secondary data frame so we can filter our first data frame and search it into the figure, okay? So here we're going to create two conditions for the data frame to, to be created. We're going to use the column of the max temperature. Uh, it has to be greater than the minimum value on the temperature list, so the temperature list index zero. And we also want the data frame on the max temperature uh, to be smaller than the temperature list in the index one uh, or the graded temperature in the temperature list. Okay, so we're just going to print our dff.head right here so we can make sure everything is going uh, as planned. Okay, so here we're going to create our figure using uh, plot express, we're going to create our histogram. The first parameter is the data frame, our secondary data, secondary data frame. 
the x would be equals to max temperature in Celsius, and the labels uh, would be equals to a dictionary where the first value is the max temperature. Okay, so I'm just going to copy and paste it right here, and uh, the text, which uh, the 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 value. Uh, will be daily high, which will, will be the text that will be displayed on the screen. And kind of that's it. Uh, we just got to return our fix, save, and go to the Google Chrome so we can see our app up and running. Uh, at least it should be up and running. OK, so we're updating the page. Uh, and here's our app. So here, uh, when you move the handles, it just updates the graph, OK? So that's what we wanted. We wanted to communicate the, the dash code component branch slider with the DCC graph, with the histogram, and generate uh, our own custom uh, representations of data. Okay. So basically, that's it. That's it for this video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys uh, were able to, to learn what I'm trying to, to, to teach you guys. Uh, if you have any doubts, any questions, anything you want to add up to this tutorial, please leave in the comments. Uh, I'll be happy to, to answer to you uh, or reach me out uh, anywhere. Okay, so thanks for your patience. Thanks for watching and see you next time.